There is a huge celebration in the LGBTQ plus community at the moment as NFL player Carl Nassib has come out as gay. It is a special moment in sporting history as he is the very first football player to come out as openly gay while on a current roster and as an active player. Other gay and bisexual members of the NFL who have come out since retiring have been very excited to see representation on the field, and today we're going to take a close look. Carl Nassib came out as a proud gay man during Pride Month earlier this summer in June on a video to his fans on Instagram. In the short, self shot video, he says, I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. And with that, the world knew. It must have been a huge pressure on Nassib's shoulders as it is such a huge part of yourself to be kept locked away. But after the relief of announcing himself to the world, there must have been a lot of fear as no NFL player has done this before. But that hesitation quickly melted away as he was fully accepted by his team and his fans. The comments on his Instagram left by followers gave him nothing but support, leaving messages like You are the coolest. Thank you. And I hope you you have the happiest life. It's really great that you did that. Absolutely, visibility and representation is still very important for the LGBTQ cause. Thanks and congrats. The story was huge news over the Pride celebrations, but his coming out quickly faded from the headlines after a little while. This, however, is not a bad thing. Gay and bisexual people are just as valid as straight people, and the fact that things have gone back to being business as usual proves that he has been fully accepted by the sporting media and community. After all, while coming out can be a big deal, being gay itself is not a big deal. Former NFL players and other athletes who have come out as part of the LGBTQ plus community since retiring have spoken out about their pride and happiness for him and how important this is for the sporting community as a whole and its treatment of gay athletes. One particular voice amongst the supportive crowd is Dave Copay, who retired from playing football at a national level way back in 1972. He used to play for a variety of teams as he had an incredibly successful career. He was drafted in 1964 as a running back, playing for the San Francisco 49ers, the Detroit Lions, the Washington Football team, the New Orleans Saints, and the Green Bay Packers. After his retirement in 1972, he spent a few years keeping up his appearances and interviews. He came out as openly gay in 1975 and was one of the very first professional athletes to do so. In fact, despite the fact that he had a very successful eight-year career, his sexual orientation is most certainly the thing he is most famous for. Dave Copay was, of course, asked about his opinions on it when the news broke, as it is something he has had really strong feelings about for a long time. He was asked about how he would feel watching Carl Nassib play his first game since coming out later in the year, and he said, It will be emotional, hugely emotional. There's a few of us that paved the way, and it makes me incredibly happy. It's huge, absolutely huge. There's not a lot of people that have faced the fear of coming out as one of America's most famous athletic stars. Sports is such a hyper-masculine field, and there's a lot of pressure on the athletes to be what society deems as perfectly masculine. Breaking those barriers and boundaries down is a huge feat, and Dave Copay couldn't be more proud of Nassib for doing it. Copay has said multiple times in a slew of interviews over his long career since his retirement, that once he came out, he expected a lot of other players to follow suit after seeing he had done it. Kind of like a stack of dominoes coming down one after the other. As it is estimated that statistically, one in three people are not heterosexual. There will be a lot of other NFL players who are still in the closet with their sexual orientation. He was hoping to inspire bravery in other gay athletes, but unfortunately, society was not ready to embrace them. Dave Copay is not the only gay former athlete who has been watching this situation unfold excitedly. Ryan O'Callaghan is a another former NFL player who had to hide his sexuality until after he had already retired. He played between the years of 2006 and 2011 on the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. The New England Patriots is one of the most famous NFL teams in history, with people all over the world knowing who they are. Having Ryan O'Callaghan coming out after he retired in 2017 definitely boosted the awareness of LGBTQ plus players in sports. He had a lot of struggles with his image and identity, and he had struggled for years with the idea of coming out as a gay man. He eventually was able to come out to his team's psychologist, coach, teammates, and his family. Fortunately, they were all supportive, and he realized that he was able to accept himself and who he truly is. He does a lot of work with LGBTQ plus youth members, providing scholarships with the Ryan O'Callaghan Foundation. Ryan O'Callaghan has spoken out about his feelings towards Carl Nassib's bravery and coming out to the public while he is still signed as a player. He was asked about how he thinks Nassib will feel, stepping out onto the field as the first openly gay player in NFL history before his game a couple weeks ago. He responded, What he did takes a lot of courage. When he steps onto the field tonight, he's the first one to ever do it. Him doing that's huge for all the closeted players out there and the whole LGBTQ community. Ryan O'Callaghan understands how monumental this is, not just for Nassib, but for every gay, bi, or queer person who is still in the closet, afraid to be themselves. It is going to prove to the world that you can be accepted for who you are. Queer people do not have to be afraid to be themselves. But while gay people should absolutely be free to be themselves, there will always be those voices who say harsh criticisms to others that they don't 
don't understand. And unfortunately, those in the queer community are all too used to hearing those voices. Another gay former athlete, Jeff Rohr, has some wise words based on his experience for the young football star. He was asked about the small number of people who had negative things to say about Nasib coming out. He said, There will always be LGBTQ haters out there, but haters are going the way of dinosaurs. Eventual extinction. And hopefully he's right. There's no room in professional sports for hatred. Passion and love for sports is what inspires the athletes to play. Rohrer understands how pivotal a moment this is in sporting history. He revealed, Carl's first game in the NFL as an openly gay man is a landmark for the league. And although his story is historical and important to all of us in the LGBTQ community, I agree with Carl that the best days are still to come when a human being gay, no matter what they do, is not a story at all. It may not be important what sexuality someone is, but it is important that the individual is accepted, and Rohrer understands that more than anyone. It is definitely true that more and more athletes have come out as gay or bisexual since they have retired, in the last few years more than ever. In fact, 16 NFL players have come out as being part of the LGBTQ plus community since retirement. 16 might not sound like a lot of players, but it is a big deal for the queer community that there are role models in the sporting world for closeted individuals to look up to for inspiration. We can all only hope that since Carl Nassib has come out as gay while he is an active pl- athlete, that he will inspire others to do the same. Jeff Rohr recently spoke some inspiring words, and it would be fitting to end this video with his quote. He is so incredibly proud and happy for what Carl Nassib has done for the gay community already, just by being honest and open and himself. Having Carl as an ambassador and as a proud member of the LGBTQ community, playing professional football will without question have an impact on the American perception of what it means to be a football player. Because of Carl's bravery to come out and be who he was born to be, he has paved the way for those who will follow in the world of football. Thanks for watching today, guys, and don't forget to leave a like with the thumbs up button. We will see you soon for the next one.